Hi, today I'm going to show you how to distill tetrachloroethane. Its boiling point is at 146. Um, therefore, distillation of this compound uh, is performed under reduced pressure or high vacuum. Um, tetrachloroethane is a very toxic uh, solvent, but it is very useful, so be careful handling this compound. Um, it's supposed to be completely colorless. Um, it has a strong uh, smell. Um, but because I got my solvent from a very old bottle, it was pale yellow. And I realized I have to distill it to get rid of impurity. So um, it was a little bit uh, lighter than this color. But as I'm boiling off more solvent, this is condensing and it turns to darker yellow and finally uh, brown uh, mixture. Uh, so the, here's the setup. I again uh, connect it to the high vacuum and I have the control uh, valve because I'm getting uh, vacuum pressure from uh, vacuum pump. It is too strong so therefore uh, this little knob here is to control the vacuum pressure. And here's the second valve. You can uh, uh, shut down the vacuum if you need to is the gauge. Um, so as you can see it is completely colorless. Um, solvent and so a slight modification I've perf I've done is previously I used to have one of these distillation adapters so the thermometer is on top uh, the right one goes to the condenser and then the bottom one is stick to your uh, uh, flask but the problem is if uh, vacuum is too strong or temperature increase um, everything um, everything bumps and everything's uh, transferred to your uh, uh, collection flask and then you end up with impure uh, solvent. Uh, but this time I'm using a Claisen head. So the Claisen head avoids happening uh, that uh, scenario that I explained. So even if everything boils suddenly and everything bumps, that doesn't go, uh, that uh, this joint, this U shape doesn't uh, let it go uh, to the collection flask. So the combination of these two would be like this. So you connect your flask in here and you have a stopper here. The right one is going connected to the condenser. The top one is connected to uh, a thermometer. So this is uh, a little uh, a little bit of setup, a little bit safer setup, and um, so I'm collecting some of my sol uh, solvent here. Um, I already collected some of it, and I store it under nitrogen. You can have some molecular sieves. Uh, molecular sieves are very uh, effective uh, chemicals uh, that uh, maintain your solvent completely dry over time. So I re really recommend you. Uh, uh, having molecular sieves um, in your uh, container if you want to store your solvent for a longer time. To activate the molecular sieves you have to heat them at uh, 300 degree uh, for over 24 hours and uh, this is one of our colleagues uh, molecular sieves uh, she's activating her molecular sieves here and uh, so you can transfer them to directly to the flask and uh, store them for a long time. So um, this is again the very similar to distillation of diglyme, but I want to show you that that uh, modification I've done to set up. And um, right now the pressure is at uh, minus 28 inch of mercury, and the, th uh, the temperature is at 35 Celsius. I hope this was useful for you guys and I would happy um, to answer any of your question. If you have any, leave me a comment or message and uh, I hope that this was useful for you. Have a great day.